SpaceX launched the next 60 satellites of their Starlink constellation earlier this morning and announced that they're planning to actually open up for customers in 2020. Hi, I'm Chris with the Mobile Internet Resource Center, here to give you an update on satellite internet, and in particular, satellite mobile internet. Now, SpaceX, the company um, that has revolutionized uh, space launch, has been working on the Starlink constellation, and we've been tracking the progress of this since 2015, several years now, as they've been working through the regulatory and kind of teasing what they're working on. And then this year, earlier in 2019, they launched the first 60 satellites of this constellation. Um, really surprising people at the pace that they're able to go. They're able to fit 60 satellites into one Falcon 9, launch them all at once, and uh, start actually making this constellation a reality. Now, several months have gone by, and uh, now here we are in November, and they have launched the second Starlink uh, satellite launch. Um, the first one was kind of just to prove their architecture work, test the satellites, test how they deployed, and now it seems they're ready to kick it into high gear and start kicking these satellites into orbit very rapidly. So they did 60 this morning, and between, before the end of the year, there's potentially three more launches. Wow, that's a whole lot of satellites, particularly if you're throwing 60 up at a time. But what SpaceX is trying to do with Starlink is going to take a whole lot of satellites. They've now revealed that their plans for bringing out service to customers will start actually in 2020. And after they've had uh, six launches, they'll be able to start offering service in Canada and in the northern parts of North America. And once they have had 12 launches, um, you know, they'll be able to cover all of continental North America or continental United States. Uh, 24 launches gets them basically to global coverage. So maybe by the end of the year, end of 2020, they might actually have enough satellites to start doing global coverage, but they have even bigger plans than this, that they're actually now filing paperwork to have over 40,000 satellites in the Starlink constellation, which is just mind-blowing when you consider it, but well, when you consider the demand for internet, well, that's pretty mind-blowing too. So is Starlink going to matter for mobile users in cruising boats and in RVs and in you know anything else? Details are still scarce. Space, SpaceX has talked about their ground terminal station is going to be basically the size of a medium to large pizza box. It will not need to be aimed. It will work in motion. And they've actually showed uh, shown off some demonstrations that they've uh, done on military uh, military planes getting 600 megabits per second speed streamed down to a plane in flight. So the technology will enable mobile users. They are targeting regular consumers, and one of the new things SpaceX has talked about is rather than go through middlemen and partners and uh, working in partnership, they're actually going to try and sell direct to consumers the same way that Tesla sells cars. Um, sending people a fancy little box that they can set in and put on outside their house. Now, what will they offer for mobile users? That might come a little bit later, particularly if they're not going to talk about mobile users until they're covering the entire United States. But the technology is there, and this is pretty exciting. There's a lot coming in 2020. Now, SpaceX isn't the only company that is working on a massive constellation like this. Uh, OneWeb is also uh, gearing up to start launching satellites rapidly. Their next launch is coming up in December. This will be their second launch and their first full launch when they're going to do 32 satellites at once. So we're expecting to learn a lot more about the OneWeb constellation and the timing and maybe even some about their service later in December. And then, well, we all know Amazon is working on their Project Cooper, which is another massive um, global satellite internet constellation. No new news on that one, but it's Amazon. They've got infinite amounts of money, so we're expecting interesting things to come next year from that as well. So a lot is happening in the space satellite internet front. Nothing you can buy today, but maybe by this time next year, some of us might be starting to have fast and um, affordable satellite internet. Could be interesting. These videos are brought to you by our premium members, our mobile internet aficionados. They make it possible for us to track this news and create these videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, or better yet, consider becoming a member yourself.